Chris Jericho versus Bandito. God damn. How much time do we got left? A while, but yeah. So you mentioned the ratings for this rapport. Man, I didn't know that until I sat down here to talk to you. I don't know if I would say poor, but... Uh, Compared to the rest of the show. It was uh, it was down. You, you said, I think we've plummeted, I think was the word you used. Well, you want me to get him here? Well, they're all making a point. The point is it was, it was not the most, most watched segment on this television show. That's the only point that matters. And watching this building, you could tear, you could tell. Because the first 10 minutes of it, ain't nobody gave a damn. Not one person. But you know what? As I said many times, the ultimate sign of a great wrestling match is take people who don't care when it starts, and they're totally into it at the end. And these guys took a crowd that didn't care when it started, and they were totally into it at the end. And Bandito in the middle is doing his one-minute suplex spot. People are going crazy for this. There's a big-ass frog splash. Uh, Joker's the code breaker, but Bandito kicks out of that, hits a Rana off the apron. We take our second commercial break. We come back. Bandito's bleeding through his mask. That seems bad. Uh, Bandito's getting... A, actually, they're all getting near falls. Or both of them getting near falls. Jericho gets a lion salt. Bandito hits a crucifix bomb. Uh, Bandito tries his finish, which is something like a go to sleep, but Jericho turns in the walls of Jericho. Bandito gets the ropes. Jericho thinks he has won. They keep going back and forth. Bandito hits all his stuff. The avalanche fall away slam off the top rope. The slingshot 21 suplex for two, and Rick and Bonnie is there. He's called 100 Bandito matches. He's got the, 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 the call he uses is timed perfectly. It's a complex move. So he's got something for every time for when Bandito hits the rope, when he starts the over, when he flips back, when he gets the move. He's got a great call for it. And having this great match, it's been all, except for the opening when Jericho mocked the ring. He did a, he did a handshake, but he also mocked it and made fun of it and flipped Bandito off. He's a dick. But uh, they're having this great match, and the actual wrestling has been totally clean. One-on-one, -on -one, pure, honorable competition. And then Jericho twists the mask around so Bandito can't see. A blinded Bandito gets one last flash cradle, one last chance. But Jericho kicks out, boots him in the head, and sinks him in the lion tamer and gets the win. This is fucking beautiful. A great match to cap off Dynamite. Yeah, the uh, show opened at 1.2 million and uh, stayed around a little under a million for most of the show. But then something happened. 9.30, uh, they lost 100,000 viewers, fell to 875, and the main event did 879, which is uh, disappointing to me because I thought this fucking match. Let me tell you something. This match was fucking great. Bandito in one night like these people had no idea who this guy was and it all started when he did that delayed suplex for 57 seconds often with one arm it was funny too because because uh you know there were fans that were counting and then they were cheering but other fans were still counting so when they first started counting they uh they go one two three four and I'm looking at the stopwatch, and it's like, these fuckers are counting way too fast. But then when it got to the double digits, they, they, they were just slower. And so they almost got it exactly right at the 57-second mark. But I did time it. It was 57 seconds. And, uh, and from that point on, they were like, this fucking guy is great. And Jericho's in there working his ass off, taking the Hurricane Rana off the apron to the floor, he took the fallaway slam moonsault off the top. Every one of fucking Bandito's moves, he's in there taking that, uh, uh, whatever they call it, plex, the 21 plex. Yes. Everything. I mean, he's just in there. This guy's 51 years old. And he's in there taking all of this. And then finally, he fucks him in the end with the mask. And he cheats to win. And, uh, and I, I love this match. I love the match. But I may have loved the post-match better. Yeah. Because what happens is Jericho gets in the ring and he demands Bobby Cruz get in the ring. And Bobby Cruz is confused, as was I. And Bobby Cruz announces him the winner. And Jericho then cuts a promo. And he says, the ring of Jericho has begun. I wish he would have said the ring of dishonor. He said, I will desecrate the legacy of ring of honor. Challenges Brian Danielson for October 12th, and he says, I will beat every former Ring of Honor champion. 
I will take out every former champion. I will take out every former commentator. I will take out every former referee, every ring announcer. And it says ring announcer, and Bobby Cruz is like, what? <laughs> and Jericho punches this dude in the guts, fucking hits that elbow. Just I, as soon as I saw this, I should have thought of it last week when he took out Kerry Silken. But, dude, this is the easiest money storyline you could possibly have. Chris Jericho is going to dishonorably desecrate Ring of Honor. Yes. That's the storyline. Yeah. And it's so fucking easy. And when he was done with this promo, I was like, I have not cared this much about Ring of Honor. And I oh, can't, for five, ten years? I can't even tell you how long. Summer of Punk, maybe? One fucking match, one fucking promo, one fucking night. They took this from the thing that Tony bought because he wanted to get it, and then we have to see these matches on television, and God bless Claudio, but it's like, you know, I'm glad he got the championship and everything, but it's just like, you know, it's... it's he was another guy having great matches I don't want to say it was in the way, matches. but sometimes Ring of Honor was in the way of Dynamite. And this fucking match and promo, when this was over, I was like, dude, there's the AEW title right now, and then there's the Ring of Honor title, and there's all the other titles. Yes. And he made this thing a fucking thing in one night. And I watched this, and I was in awe. I was like, God damn, this is so easy, and it's so great. And listen, I love Danielson. He better not beat him yet. Oh, no. Jericho needs to go on a fucking tear. And I was done watching the show, and I go to take out the trash. And so I got time to think. Go get a long driveway. Mm-hmm. I'm out there and I'm thinking, you know what? Let me make this clear. I don't think that Chris Jericho is going to win Wrestler of the Year in the Observer Awards, okay? But it was only like a month ago, July, August, where if you would have said, who's going to win Wrestler of the Year in the Observer Awards? It's like, well, John Moxley and there ain't nobody close, okay? And the reality is there is somebody close. Because Roman Reigns has been champion for two years, WWE is the biggest organization, and you're going to have a lot of people that are going to vote for Roman Reigns for that reason, okay? So it's like, it's going to be Roman Reigns, or it's going to be Jon Moxley. But man, when this was over, I thought, and I don't think he's going to win, but if Chris Jericho is not in, like, the top three, I mean, something's wrong. Because this fucking guy, look at his year. He almost died in December, Okay. He was gone for the first couple months or whatever, getting his life in order, getting back in shape. He finally gets back in the ring. And I'll never forget that first match back in the ring that he had. It was a tag match. And, uh, and you know, I, I, had, I had been under the impression that he had health issues, but I didn't, know, I didn't know the extent of them. I just knew that he had some health issues, and he had been wrestling. And, man, he got back in that ring, and I thought, he's back. And, man, he must feel great. And little did I know. Because from that point forward, he has had the fucking year of a lifetime. Him and Moxley both. What a fucking year these two guys have had. And you think about the matches he's had, and you think about, like, he's been so good in the ring. He's out there fucking playing Lionheart. Yeah. Lionheart. Yeah. That was fucking 1995 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He's out there. He can pull off Lionheart at 51. He's doing the Lionheart gimmick. He's doing the Painmaker gimmick. He's doing hardcore matches. He's doing straight matches. He's getting fucking swung in the goddamn fucking giant swing on top of that yeah. cage like yeah. a crazy person. And now he's fucking re- rejuvenated Ring of Honor. So, bro, is he in the Hall of Awesome? Well, I don't know, but he certainly deserves to be. Well, he fucking is now. Chris Jericho is He wasn't Hall already. Awesome. This fucking guy is awesome. I'm looking back over his year here. His first match of the year was Jericho and Ortiz and Santana versus Garcia, Jeff Parker, and Matt Lee. The, 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 the inner circle was still a thing when this year started. That seems, that seems like a long time ago. Uh, so, yes, they had the, the, that whole breakup, the MJF deal. Uh... MJF left before that, but uh, the, the whole feud in the inner circle broke up. The Anarchy in the Arena match, the hair match with Ortiz, uh, the, 
the, the uh, uh, Forbidden Door match with Minoru Suzuki and Eddie Kingston, the whole Eddie Kingston feud. Yes, he's had a hell of a year. And I can't, I can't say it's the best year of his career because he's had a lot of great years. But it's one of his better years. Dude, it's... I mean, listen, the way that the Observer voting goes, you know, he wasn't the AW champion. He wasn't the WWE champion. Wasn't the IWGP champion. And so I don't think that he's going to win. But like I said, he is, he should absolutely be in the conversation for wrestler of the year. So anyway, I just was fucking... The, the last, I, I I got the quarters and I was like, fuck, what bullshit. Because this last, the last half hour of this show was fucking magical. Yeah. It was so awesome. Yeah. I do need to, before we move on, clarify one point of his promo. I'm almost positive what he said was he is going to beat every great Ring of Jericho champion. Uh, because, of course, some Ring of Honor champions for assorted reasons. We're not going to get Chris Jericho in low key. Probably not going to get uh, Tyler Black. I don't see that happening anytime soon, but uh, yes, he's going to beat a lot of Ring of Honor champions. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected is a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex, right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, no. Okay, no. all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny. You did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go, to, go to jail. Your guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you shut me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like uh -oh. she, She's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.